Hi guys, it's Daniel from the Tech Plague, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Just Cause 2 multiplayer server. Uh, this game came out uh, relatively cheap. Um, I think it was at like £2 sometime this week. And um, obviously, there's hundreds of buyers with the new multiplayer mod, and I've seen thousands of players online. The servers are like max players of 10,000, I think. It's, it's stupid. Anyway, so the first thing you're going to do is create a folder called uh, JCMP. You can put this in any uh, place you want. I'm going to put mine in the C drive for convenience. Uh, and if you want to be neat like me, then you can create these folders too, but they're not compulsory. So in the folder called Steam CMD, you can go ahead and put the Steam CMD exe in there. Oh yeah, and uh, a quick note I need to add in here: uh, you actually need to get the Visual C Plus redistributable for Visual Studio for this to work, or you can just install it using the Steam client. So first thing you're going to do now is just launch a Steam CMD exe as you do with every game you normally would. Uh, you do that and it's going to fill up that folder with all the files you're going to do login, anonymous and this can take a while sometimes but generally it doesn't take that long there we go sorry that took a little bit longer so I thought I'd cut it and so you want to do force oops, force install dir and c dot forward slash and then wherever you put sorry, wherever you put your uh, folder where you want to put the server. Mine's going to go in the subfolder and then you want to run app underscore update two six one one four zero. And the server is just really small. It doesn't like have the map or any major files on there. It's that's, that's all held client side. Um so you wait for this to finish. There we go. So now that's done you can go back to that server folder you created earlier you see a config.lua. If you're wondering, yes, it's the same .lua that's used in Gary's mod, apart from this is used for configuration, which is interesting. So you can go through here and uh, modify whatever you like that's in here. I was going to call this the tech plague. I've not set up port forwarding, so this is not going to appear on the server list, but I can connect to myself locally. So if we run this uh, server.exe, you see that starts fairly quickly. Um, let's do a quick connect. I think I'm 0 0.10. 8, 0 0.10. Yes, I am. As you can see, it's going to start creating the files for your first connect. Um, tab out. There we go. And it's going to show the, the name and the Steam ID, of course. And there you have it. You're actually in your very own just cause two server. If you set up port forwarding correctly by going to your router, then um yeah you, you need to put forward seven seven seven, I think it said in the config. Uh yep it's seven 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 so quad seven. So you set that up and then people from outside your house can then connect in. Uh in the next video I'm gonna be showing you how to add some mods to it like that uh, the boost the boost light mod where you can go fast and various other things. Thanks for watching. If this video has helped you, make sure to leave a like or a comment. If you've got any extra questions, subscribe today to join the plague. See you next video.